Hi, I'm Mitch. Today I'm going to show you how to adjust the z-axis of a part in the FreeCAD 1.0 cam workbench so that it matches the cutting tool z-axis. Then I'll use the cam simulator to check my toolpath. So I created this part in SolidWorks and imported it here as a step file. I'll open that and the default settings are fine. And then adjust my view. And you can see that we start in the part design workbench. So we need to switch that to the cam workbench. And we'll start a job. The body is selected, OK. And now you can see the problem. The blue arrow is the z-axis. Red is x, and the, yellow, uh, the green is y. The cam tool needs to approach the piece from above, but it expects to be on the Z axis. So we need to switch these. Easy. I'll just scroll on down to the Set Options box. It's grayed out, but if I select the top of my part, it becomes active. And now if I select the Z axis, that sets the z-axis perpendicular to my selected face. Done! That's it. <clears throat> I'm going to use the cam simulator to prove that I did correctly adjust the axes. First I have to set up the rest of the job. So first I'll choose my stock. So first I'll choose my stock, then I'll define my profile. You can see when I'm in the profile taskbar this vertical path icon shows up. And that shows me the origin and direction of the travel for my tool. So I'm going to fast forward through the rest of my toolpath settings since I've shown them in another video. And you can see now that my tool should start at the origin, go across the piece via this red line, and then go around the piece twice. One two times. And once we've got those settings complete, the cam simulator becomes active and I can verify my toolpath is what I want. So you'll see in this simulation that the tool starts at the origin, like I said, it'll cross and then it'll go around here twice. I'll just adjust my speed a little bit and play. Tool comes down and across. And the motion in the simulator is a little jerky, but we can see that it is uh, following the path that we mentioned. There's once. And there's twice. Now we're ready to export the G-code and cut. I hope this was helpful.